In this video, I'm going to be showing you guys what I find to be the best duplication method in 1.2.1. If you're watching this and it's at a future patch, then I'm not sure if it'll still work, but for now it is working just fine on 1.2.1. So without further ado, let's get started. All right, so first things first, you're gonna wanna find a nice simple ledge. In my case, I'm using the ledge of my house, but any other pretty medium height ledge like this should work just fine. I find that the ledges around Lookout Landing work quite well for this too. So once you're near your ledge, you're gonna wanna press R like you're about to throw something. Then hold out an item. Make sure you only have one of that item. This is very important. In this case, I'm gonna use ancient blades. So we have our ancient blade here, our one ancient blade. We're gonna hold this out. And then this next part is a little more tricky. So you're gonna to wanna to pay attention to what I say here. First, make sure you're near the edge of the cliff. Then you're gonna to want to, while holding the throw button, do a back jump and then immediately press up on the D-pad. Once you're here, you want to make sure you're still holding R, but you're going to want to quickly release the D-pad and then click it again. And if you did it right, Link's hand should move forward a little bit. You can see his hand has moved now. So once the hand is moved, you can let go of the R button and then we're going to repeat the same step without holding the R button. So we're going to let go, quickly press it again. And if we've done it right, the drop button should appear. Now this is where you could run into some issues. If you do it too early, when you press the drop button, it'll give you a message saying you cannot do that now. And if you do it too late, the item won't appear in your inventory anymore. But if you do it just right, it should say I have zero ancient blades and I can drop it. And then I'm going to go ahead and press the drop button. And there we go. Simple as that. I now have two ancient blades that I have duplicated. Now, this method is pretty good if you just want to quickly duplicate a few items. However, if you want to get a large amount of items, we're actually going to have to head over to a Zonai dispenser. So uh, I'll meet you guys there. All right. So we are here at a Zonai dispenser. The one that I'm at is near Terrytown. So there that is if you guys want to check that out. And I'm going to show you guys how we can duplicate in mass. So first things first, you're going to want to make sure you have something to block this entrance. I personally find that Zonai fans are the best for this. So if you're using fans, I recommend doing this right here. You just attach two fans together at an angle. And then once you have them on an angle, you're going to want to go ahead and put them up next to the door here. And then we're going to put something in the dispenser so that it opens. I'll put a Zonai charge in. Why not? And it should open up for us. And as long as the fan is kind of in the way, it should not close back up. So now we can grab these fans here. If you just put them in and rotate them the correct way, just like that, they should perfectly block the exit so nothing can get out now. And then now what we're going to do is we're going to store a bunch of the item that we're duplicating in the dispenser. So I recommend getting something that you have a lot of to do this. I'm going to use uh, some silver bokoblin horns just because I have a ton of them. So let me go ahead and put all these in. This could be a little time consuming, so I'll skip it for you guys. All right, so now I have all of my stuff in there. For some reason, this fan broke, but it's still clogged, so we're good. So now we're going to go ahead and do the duplication glitch, which I taught you guys before. There's a nice ledge right next to this Zonai dispenser, so I recommend using this. So uh, I won't explain it again, I'll just show you guys me duplicating some stuff again. And there you go, as you can see here, I've just made two silver bokoblin horns. Now I don't really need any more bokoblin horns, so I'm going to go ahead and say that just two is good enough for now. And then we're going to go back to our Zonai dispenser. And now when I go ahead and take this out, I'm going to want to be real quick and we're going to want to grab all the items as fast as we can because they are going to flood out. So here we go. Ready? Take this out. And then just really quickly spam A. So you grab all of that. And now I should have 41 Bokoblin Horns. Yep, there we go. 
So I just duplicated an extra one for us there. You guys can do however many more you want to do, though. I just did one for demonstration purposes. But yeah, that's pretty much it. That's how you duplicate items in Tears of the Kingdom 1.2.1. If you guys found this useful, then uh, please consider leaving a like and subscribing. I'd greatly appreciate it. And yeah, that's all I got for you guys today. So I'll see you on the next one. Peace.